And after you're done watching this video, you'll know all the things that you must know before keeping a British short hair. So, what more fabulous gift than the love of a cat? And that too when you have a British short hair because they're perfect for anyone looking for a cat who is calm and enjoys sitting next to them but not in their lap. By now, you might be intrigued to know more about this breed of cats. Hey everybody, welcome to Paw Venue. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to get updated about the upcoming videos. With all that being said, let's dig into it. History British shorthair cats have been around for a great many years. They are the descendants of the European cat, a typical European street cat. About 2,000 years ago, Romans introduced European cats to England. British shorthair cats and the European wildcat are thought to be the parents of British shorthairs. That would account for the fact that British shorthair cats have larger bodies than other cats. Interestingly, the British shorthair started as a regular cat on the streets of England. They were so ordinary that no one noticed them until the 1800s. However, Harrison Weir, a passionate cat lover who is often known as the father of cat organizations, had a particular fondness for these cats. He was utterly smitten with them. Mr. Weir had a lovely British shorthair cat who competed in the first feline competition. This performance was held in the Crystal Palace in London. Despite the fact that this cat was quite old, she received an award. As a result, people's perceptions about British shorthair cats evolved. Their popularity grew to the point where they were classified as a separate breed. However, the exceptional fame that these cats had didn't last very long. Long-haired cat breeds such as Persians had found their way to England by the 1900s. Because of the imports of these cats, the British shorthairs faded into the background. Due to their rapid decrease after World War II, British shorthair cats were nearly extinct. Some highly dedicated breeders took a lot of hard work to bring this breed back. The remaining British cats were crossed with other breeds because few of them survived after the war. Owing to the restoration of the British Shorthair, the Russian Blue, Chartreux, and Persian Cats are among the breeds. Throughout history, the British Shorthair breed has thrived and grown in popularity. It is now the third most popular breed around the globe. Also, it's one of the most desirable cat breeds in the United States and Europe. Physical Appearance As for their physical appearance, the body of a British Shorthair cat is muscular, large, and well-balanced. Their heads are round and broad, with a short nose, plump cheeks, and widely spaced ears. Their eyes are enormous, big, and highly expressive. In British Blue, they are a deep coppery orange, but the color varies depending on the coat. The British Shorthair also has a large chest, thick legs with rounded paws, and a standard-sized blunt-tipped tail. The fur of these cats is short and dense, and it feels velvety to the touch. However, it isn't as thick as other cats' fur. Furthermore, this breed's most common color is solid dark gray or blue, as cat associations refer to it. It isn't, however, the only color available. There are more than 30 different colors and patterns to choose from. Because the cats mostly cross with gray breeds, blue is the most common color. The gray Scottish Fold, a breed closely linked to the British Shorthair, is frequently confused with the British Blue type. The Shorthair, however, is distinguished by its pointed triangular ears. In contrast to most cat breeds, they take longer to mature, attaining full physical maturity at around 3 years of age. They are a sexually dimorphic breed, with males averaging 9 to 17 pounds and females 7 to 12 pounds, which is unusual among domestic cats. Personality Now let's discuss their personality traits. This breed of cat is recognized for its peaceful demeanor. They are loving with their owners, but not overly so. Unlike other cats, they show equal devotion to all members of the household. Short hair cats, however, dislike being picked up or held. They will not hesitate to show how disappointed they are if you pick them up. They'll try to flee by making cute little noises, but there will be no aggressive behavior. If you can hold them for more than 5 seconds, you'll be lucky. After all, British short hairs aren't the type of cats to sit on your lap. They'll like to sit peacefully near you though. British short hairs have a reputation for being gentle. They will most likely jump rather than step over you if you sit on the couch and block their route. Despite the fact that this breed of cat enjoys chilling around, they are likely to have energy outbursts. Don't be shocked if your cat starts rushing around and behaving wildly. The cat will revert to its favorite activity after these energy bursts, and that is to do absolutely nothing. They're somewhat in the middle when it comes to levels of activity. Small toys that they can fling around are loved by British short hairs when they play alone. This breed of cat does not make a lot of mess in the house. They're too sluggish to open doors or cupboards, and it's doubtful that your British short hair will hop into the fridge if you open it. In addition, most British cats may be easily trained to avoid jumping on the counters. They're intelligent, well-behaved cats, but don't rely on this. After all, each cat is different and can act in various ways. British shorthairs prefer to be the only cat in the house. 
This is because British Shorthairs are uninterested in other cats. Sparks may fly if you have another lively cat. Let's imagine you love to have two cats. Having two British Shorthair kittens from the same litter is suggested in this situation. However, don't be put off by this suggestion. Even if their personalities are completely different, you can make two cats tolerate each other. It will take some effort from you, but it is possible. British Shorthair cats somehow get along well with dogs. However, the dog must be well trained to socialize with cats. These cats are pretty tolerant of them and get along with them when it comes to kids. They're also polite and patient. They do need attention from their owners, yet they aren't bothered if left alone. The British Shorthair are more like a mature pet rather than behaving like a dog who constantly needs your attention. It's a fluffy one with enticing eyes. What's the lifespan of a normal British Shorthair cat? They are fortunate in that they are generally healthy with 12 to 20 years of lifespan. Of course, where you can get your cat has an impact on this. Licensed breeders make every effort to sell kittens in good health. Cats with health problems in particular are not allowed to reproduce. Someone only interested in making money may not be as responsible. Breeders also require you to sign a contract through which they maintain a particular reputation. There are a couple of life-threatening health conditions that these cats can have and they're passed down from their ancestors. Number one, the first is the well-known HCM, which primarily affects middle age and older cats. However, cats of younger age are also susceptible. Unfortunately, unexpected death is frequent in the first indication. To detect it early, you'll have to visit your veterinary cardiologist for an ultrasound of your cat once a year. Number two, polycystic kidney disease, which can lead to renal failure, is another severe disorder. Number three, hyperthyroidism is the third condition. Thyroid hormone affects nearly all cats' organs, particularly the heart, causing severe problems. In general, older cats are more vulnerable to it. Weight loss, gasping for breath, illness, and a greasy coat are symptoms. Surgery and medication are required for cats with hyperthyroidism. Number four. Finally, cystitis is a condition that affects cats' urinary tracts and causes inflammation in their bladders. Cystitis is a complex condition to overcome. It is commonly caused by stress, bacterial infection, and bladder stones. Frequent urination and blood in cats' pee are two of the signs. Cystitis in cats requires plenty of fluids and a particular medical diet. Anti-inflammatory drugs and antibiotics are also among the treatments. Aside from these issues, do remember that British Shorthairs are generally lethargic cats. Obesity will worsen any illness your cat may have, so keep an eye on their weight. How to take care of a British Shorthair cat. You'll have to clean their ears, cut their nails, and brush their teeth with a specific toothbrush and toothpaste, just like any other cat. Brushing your cat's fur once or twice a week is advised. Brushing the cat will help to remove the hair that will fall off. As a result, less cat hair will fly around the house and the cat won't swallow any. To put it another way, it's a pleasure to look after them. So guys, this is all about it. I hope you liked this video and let me know in the comment section if you have any queries. Also, do let us know if you are now interested in keeping a British short hair. Don't forget to give a thumbs up to the video and share it with your friends. Check out this playlist of latest uploads and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.